very good at the bell and thought that would be enough. But you know, our audience chooses. It's not up to us, but you put up a great fight. It's pretty tough, isn't it? Yeah. It's gonna be real tough for you. We're still married. Well, John, she says it's gonna be even tougher for you. I'll tell you what, you got a feisty wife, but you know she's from Minnesota, where I'm from, and that's the way they all are back there. But you won a very close decision. How do you feel about it? <coughs> Good. <laughs> I felt a lot better before. This is a lot tougher than people think, isn't it? Yeah, a lot tougher. Very good. Well, in grudge match style, where you shake hands and call the grudge settled. No, well, we're not, uh, maybe not. We're not going to get a handshake here today, Steve Albert. This grudge is going to go on, I guess. Back to you. All right, thank you very much, Jesse. And just remember this. When you come on the grudge match, be prepared for almost anything. Oh, my goodness. Coming up next, we have two college roommates who blame each other for a lousy vacation. Hi, my name is Bob Wise, and my grudge is against my roommate, Marcus Legault. It all began like when Marcus invited me to spend this fun week up in... See, here in the gallery of weapons, it's pretty quiet. But when the match starts, it's going to heat up. Because in round one, they're going to use oversized boxing gloves. In round two, they're going to sit in these rocking chairs and throw grudge glot filled balloons. In round three, they're going to have a pie fight across a rope. It's going to be pretty fun, and this is what they're fighting for. Marcus and Bob are both fighting to win a trip for two to... Truly an international affair. We're at the fabulous Grudge Match Arena. We're getting set for this battle of roommates. Marcus the Brick Legal and the person with the grudge, Bad. Bob Wise. And we'll be back with this... Anything you please. Blame each other for a lousy vacation. Marcus says Bob is too happy. It always makes annoying little noises. I know how you feel working with Jesse. And look at that. I told you the Weiss had the... Had the advantage, the reach advantage, and he's pummeling Legault right now. Oh, and Legault with a jumping, and they're both slipping and sliding. Look at these guys get hammered. Good knockdown right there. A furious attack. Great combinations by Bob Wise. Oh, a right uppercut to the chest by Wise. And Legault's in trouble. Let's see if he can bounce back. Well, Bob Wise is using that long arm on him. And Legal trying a few back fist karate moves in there, but those usually don't come out too good here in the grudge match. Bob in the blue says Marcus is lazy, always late. He's bossy, irresponsible, always on the phone, and those are his good quality. Look at Bob head down, driving him into the corner, using that windmill technique made so famous here on the grudge match. Final seconds of round one, and I'll tell you, they may have punched each other out here. Well, he's got a look at disdain on his face as Marcus the Brick Legal. Let's go to the grudge cam, and you'll see exactly how the knockdown took place right there. You're looking from bad Bob Wise's point of view, a good right hand there, and sends the Brick Legal down. Now, you, you met round two, not Teresa. It's called Rocking Out, a glove balloon fight conducted from rocking chairs. Now, they're each going for a trip to Palm Springs. I doubt if they go together. The double-fisted attack there by Bob Weiss. He's picking two up at one time, where Marcus seems to be standing with just one black ball at a time. Good hit by the goal, right in the face. He's going upstairs. Meanwhile, Weiss is going to the midsection. The key to this is right. 